Good day, everyone. My name is Mrs. Chidema. I would like us to listen and listen very carefully. I'm here to share the little revelation I had last night. And I want us to take it very serious. I tell you to pass this message down on so that we can learn and we can escape from the danger coming. It happened that I was in a dream. And in that dream, a lot of people were doing different kind of things. So we were buying, so we were selling. In fact, there were ceremonies and our daily job, you know, our daily work. What we do daily, everybody was just busy doing whatever we are called to do on a normal basis. Some people are going to work on the entering bus and all, of, all that. So, in that dream, I was in the house. So, I found out that a man came to the house and there were some people in my house. A man came to the house and was telling us that we should prepare that the king is coming. So we first started preparing, so we should put on good clothes. So I was the last person that I finished preparing, and they were shouting that he's here, he's here. Then we ran outside. So when we ran outside, I saw it was as if it was a field. Everybody was there. I saw people that were acting, movies. People that I've not seen in my life, I saw them. People that I've seen for a very long time, and I've seen them for long, I saw them present. People that I don't even know where I, I knew them, I saw them there presently. And all of us were just looking up to the sky. So I found that as we were looking up to the sky, I saw horses, thousands of horses with wings. Like they are like Pegasus, like with wings, horses with wings, pure white. And people were sitting on top of the horse. I found out that I saw somebody at the front of those thousands of people. But the person's face was as. As if I was looking at the sun. So people are not saying that that is Jesus that is coming. That everybody should prepare. That he's coming down to meet us. So those people were coming down and they came straight down. So just like the Bible said that the first shall be the last. So I saw some sisters that I knew before that was that persuaded. I saw them presently on top of that house. So I was telling somebody beside me, I know this sister. She's not a Christian. How come is she on top of the house? So the person told me that maybe she repented before this time. So they came down and all of us were asked to bring our passports, our international passports, photograph. So if people started bringing their passport, there will be a particular NJ standing before you. Like a being standing before you that will check your passport. So you put your passport to them. When they see your name, your name will appear, everything, your details. Then everything about you from the day you were born will just appear boldly. It was so real that everything, every person has done. It's got to a point that when you are looking at those things, you'll be wondering, am I the person that I've committed this sin? I can't believe I'm the one that did this. People were so shocked. I found that I saw one of the act actors that I know very well. He, he showed his passport to the angel and everything about him came out. And he was telling the angel, I don't know I did this thing. I thought I was a Christian. I've repented for long. So why is this thing appearing before me? So it was as if he does not have genuine repentance. So the angel told him that, sorry, you can't go with us. Go by this side. So when he went there, he was standing there and just, just like a big pit. So he was standing there and fire came right from heaven and fall on top of his head. The fire started burning him. The fire burned and burned him to the extent that he was shouting. He was shouting, God have mercy. He was shouting, Jesus forgive me. He was shouting and shouting. But there was no response. Nobody could save him. He was shouting at the top of his voice. He was shouting very, very loud. He was shouting and shouting. The worms in his stomach started coming out. It was so terrible that I was looking at him. I don't know what to 
see. I don't even know what to do. So the one in the stomach uh, coming out, they were shouting. So I saw the accuser of the brethren, which is the devil, and he appeared. I was laughing at him. I said, All the people that think they're trusting in God, they're going to join him in hell. That was how that brother burnt, that person that I knew. That's how he burnt and burnt and sink inside the pit. So it was so terrible. A lot of people, a lot of things happened to them. I couldn't behold my eyes. I cried at the top of my voice. I shouted. I said, Jesus, have mercy. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. The fire was so much that you cannot even come close. The fire was so much that you can't, you can't even go near there. And everything was so bold. Everything each person has done. The one you know, the one you don't know, we just appear. Everything was bold right before our faces. And we couldn't behold what we say. And it was a message that said, go and tell the world I am coming. Go and tell the world that I'm coming. I am coming very, very soon. I am coming sooner than you expected. I am coming and I am going to come. I will come and I will come with anger. My message, I will not, I will not show mercy. You will cry for mercy that day. You will not see it. It was a message that said, go and tell the world. Go and tell everybody that you know. They should escape from this great danger. It's going to be terrible. You will not know what to behold you that day. So, my dear brothers and sisters, ever since I had that dream, I have not been myself. Please, I beg every one of us, let us give our life to Jesus. Not just giving our life to Him, let us be sincere. Let us totally surrender everything, everything we have done in secret and in open. Let us beg Him for forgiveness. Jesus is ever ready to forgive us. He's always ready. What I saw last night was so real. It was so real to the point that I couldn't believe what I was saying. I woke up with tears and I fell down on my knees. I lay down, I prostrated, and I said, Jesus, forgive me. I don't want to go to hell because I love you. That is why I'm making this video for us to repent. Please let us repent. Jesus is coming. He's on, he's on his way. He's very, very close to the world. Please, that fire that I saw is terrible. The fire that we burn and never quench. All the worms in the tummy will never die. Please, my prayers will give our life to Jesus. That is going to give us the grace to serve him and to make it at last. I want to join heavenly. I want to join the host of heaven. I want to join the saints above. Please, will you be there when Jesus comes? Please, give your life to Jesus Christ. If you owe me seven, who will you blame? If you owe me seven, who will you blame?